Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create timestamps or chapter markers directly on your YouTube video. I hope everyone's doing well. It's nice to see you again here. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. I create weekly content on filmmaking, photography, and gear review. And if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for watching. Your support is always appreciated. I don't know about you guys, but when I watch a long video on YouTube, I really dislike it when they do not include a table of contents in that description. So if you do not know what I mean, a table of contents or a timestamp link, it's a table of contents that whoever uploads that video puts in their description with links to specific points in time in their video. If you're watching a long video, 10, 15, or 20 minutes long, or however long it is, it's always useful to have timestamps or chapter markers in your video. So it's easy for people to navigate to certain parts of your video rather than having to wait a long time to get the information that they want or the information that they came to your video to look for. In the past, this was possible by adding links directly in your description. If you do not know how to do that, it was as simple as just adding the time in your video along with the topic or the chapter title for that specific part of that video. I usually like to do this whenever I'm creating longer form videos or videos where I review a certain piece of gear. I like to give my viewers a breakdown of what they will see in the video. Or if it's a step-by-step -step thing or if there's like 10 tips or five hacks or something like that, those kind of videos usually get a timestamp or a table of content. So it's easy for viewers to go and click and look for that desired information. But recently, in the last couple of months, YouTube took this table of contents timestamp feature to the next level. I'm not sure if you've seen this already, but now you can click on the timestamp or on the chapter marker directly within the timeline of that video. So you no longer have to go into the description. It took me a little bit to figure this out. About a month ago, I was trying to figure out how to do that for my own videos. And I finally figured it out without actually Googling it. The way I found that was very interesting. I saw some other video that had it and I was trying to figure out what was the difference? What did they have in their video that I did not? At first I thought it was maybe a feature that YouTube was starting to roll out to certain creators only and that's why I was not able to access it or see it. I realized that that video had one thing in the table of contents that I did not have in mind. And it was such a simple thing again. So right now in this video you see where I review a cheap USB microphone, the Fifine K670. I have a table of contents right in my description. So I have a timestamp to the specific section in the video. And when you look at the timeline of the video, you see that there is just one straight line. There's no sections, no separation or chapter markers. And if you haven't seen this video, you can go check it out if you want to improve your audio quality for either online meetings or if you stream a lot or if you are currently using your built-in microphone on your computer or your tablet, this is a very good option to have to increase your sound quality without spending too much money. So I figured out that the only thing that I didn't have was a timestamp marked at zero, zero. So here I'll go to edit my video and under the table of contents, the only thing that I need to do is just to add the zero, zero, zero zero timestamp and as soon as i click save in the description of the video then i'll go watch my video on youtube itself there you go you see the individual chapter markers timestamps directly on youtube on the video's timeline so people no longer have to go into your description to look for that specific section in your video mind blown if they hover their mouse over the actual timeline of the video they see that the video is split up into different sections. And that is according to the different sections that you had laid out in your table of contents. So they're all different sizes. And this size is dependent on the time that this section in your video is in relation to the entire video. So it's a proportion of that. So YouTube is able to automatically just create this as soon as you add that zero, zero, zero timestamp. Mind blowing. So that is it. This is a relatively new feature that YouTube sort of sneakily rolled out. I didn't hear about it until I saw it on someone else's video. For myself, I really like it when creators splice up their videos and divide it into sections, especially if they're doing a review video or they're doing educational content and the video is over 10 minutes. I find it a lot easier to navigate and having a table of contents and having this right directly in your timeline, it also helps your video look more professional and organized. 
and as a viewer you're always looking to easily learn from someone and digest information in a simple way so if you're not doing this already i suggest that you start doing it your viewers and your audience will greatly appreciate this that is all guys thanks for watching if you have not subscribed please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button and the bell button on your way out if you're already subscribed thanks again so much for watching so that is all for today and until next time